Hello, and welcome to the DroidGuy.com's un-unboxing video of the Motorola Droid 2. Now, I've been carrying this phone for about a week, and I wanted to wait and see what the features were like before reporting on it, so I decided to forego the traditional unboxing video. But like all the videos, this one's brought to you by The Big Android Barbecue, happening October 2nd and 3rd in Austin, Texas. For complete details, visit www.androidbarbecue.com. The first thing you'll notice as we look at the Droid 2 is that it's very, very similar in size to its sister or brother, the Droid 1. You'll notice some things about the Droid 2 right off the bat. It's the very first phone to come out with Android 2.2, better known as Froyo, already stocked on the phone, which gives you access to things like tethering and one of my favorite features, the ability to change Gmail accounts within the Gmail app. You also notice it comes stock with the same mini blur apps, like I like to call them, as the Droid X. Here's quick access to, to frequent contacts. Here's a media player, media player controller at the top. Got a blank screen there. Notice on the bottom you have that quick screen, the same thing as the Droid X. You can move real fast in between screens. Over here, if you'll notice, you have Facebook. You can do the uh, announcement thing here, tie it to Facebook and Twitter, and read status updates from Facebook and Twitter here. Now, for obvious reasons, I never put my Twitter account in one of these things. It just bogs it down. At the top of this screen, you'll notice that there's four widgets. One is off uh, for airplane mode toggle, one's a GPS toggle, one's a Bluetooth toggle, and one's a Wi-Fi toggle. Underneath is the weather forecast. It's a lot easier than actually having to install weather.com. On this screen, we have a calendar widget which shows calendar stuff, and we have the latest email from my email that'll show uh, show you a quick glimpse of the email. And look, it's Melissa from uh, Texas about the Android barbecue. You'll notice at the top here I have the Motorola Torch widget. It's not working on the Droid 2 at this time. I'll probably go back and get it in just a little while after they have all that worked out. Also, one thing that you'll come to find, or at least I've come to find, is I had some difficulty getting Gtalk and Google Voice working correctly, so I've downloaded eBuddy to do my Gtalk. And uh, Google Voice, at the moment, will not let me use forward to this phone. I can't uh, verify it for some reason or another. I don't know that that's definitely a Motorola Droid 2 thing, though. Real quick, we'll go ahead and check out, check out the settings. And about phone, Droid 2, Android version 2.2, baseband is BP underscore C underscore 01.09.05P, and my kernel is 2.6.32.9-G59F0395. It's the Verizon build, so it's VZW build. And then finally, let's go ahead and check out the keyboard. Nice form factor keyboard, backlit keys. Yeah, backlit keys and uh, directional buttons here, which make things a lot easier. Caps lock is right here. It makes it real easy if you want to type in a phone number real quick or, um, you know, you have to type in a password that's both numbers and letters like I do. You want to use the caps lock key right there. Here's the alt key that will get you your number rows. Other than that, though, if you look at the original Droid keyboard, the keys on the Droid 2 are a lot bigger and the directional keys are not in there. So they've actually learned something from going from Droid 1 to Droid 2. It's a really nice phone. To be perfectly honest with you, I've been really impressed with the Motorola products and the Motorola line. Everybody's asking me the same question. Which one do you like better, Droid X or Droid 2? So I'll tell you this. Droid, I like Droid X better for the cool factor. It's probably one of the coolest phones I own. It's actually plugged up to the computer right now doing some work but it's probably one of the coolest phones I own I like the size of it for not having a keyboard it makes up for it in the size however for working for writing articles for the droidguy.com and writing lengthy emails back and forth about the barbecue it definitely helps to have a keyboard and it also helps to have tethering for uh, my laptop and the uh, tablet that I use at the current moment so thanks again for checking out a quick look at the Droid 2. It's a great phone. It's by Verizon. It's available at Verizon right now for $199 after $100 mail-in rebate. Or if you want to wait till September 30th, they're going to have the R2-D2 or the R2-Droid 2, which comes in white and is a tribute to Star Wars 
and Lucas Films. It's about time Lucas jumped back on the droid bandwagon. More videos, more info, more everything soon at thedroidguy.com. Be there, www.thedroidguy.com, and visit Android Barbecue today and get your tickets, www.androidbarbecue.com. Peace out.